Charles. I'm making a video today um, on how to finish off uh, new windows we just put in. We did this house. Um, we put in the new windows. I know there's a lot of videos out there how to put in windows. It's really easy. But here's the problem. Once you're done with your new windows, you can see what you're left with. Something has to be done with this outside. Now I'm sure you could scrape and paint and you would probably be doing that every year or two. But um, you, the professionals, now they have a way of wrapping this stuff with aluminum. See, part of this already was done, but now we're left with this. Um, I'm going to show you a simple, easy way to go ahead and wrap this thing, and it'll look good. Now, this ain't for all you professionals out there with your $2,000 um, equipment with the, with the bending machine, the, the metal brakes. Now that's that's great, but this is just meant for the do-it-yourself guy at home, um, the YouTubers, and uh, it's a simple solution. It's going to be a less than $50 fix. We actually did all the windows in this house for less than $700 as well. So um, this is going to be to finish it off, not to take any away from the professionals. You know who you guys are, and you guys do great work out there. Um, but this is just something you can do at home with simple basic tools, all right? We're gonna go down to the hardware store and buy some J channel is what we're gonna use. And also some siding material for the uh, sill here. So I'm gonna show you how to cut this stuff and then attach it to the house, alrighty? So we're gonna go over and cut it right. This is the material we're gonna use. Now, this is just ordinary J channel. Vinyl, vinyl J channel. Real simple stuff, you can pick it up anywhere, any hardware uh, store, Home Depots and whatever got this sort of thing. Now what we're going to do is uh, cut off this right here, this end first, and we're going to cut off this. What I'm using is an ordinary table saw everyone probably has. And uh, what I'm going to do is cut off the J first. Make sure you got your safety gases first, you know, those are the, those are the important things, okay? So. This part, oh, about depending on how wide you need it, I cut off just a little past that. So, set this off right about there, and then we'll just cut that off. <laughs> Now there's the finished product. It's basically a U-shape, okay? And uh, I'm gonna show you how we fit this right on the window. It's gonna fit right on that outside parting spot. As you can see here, this is all my scraps and uh, I've uh, cut a whole mess of them. So enough to pretty much do the whole house. And I don't think this J channel will even cost $30, but um, we'll go over to the job site and I'll show you how this stuff gets attached. Now, um, these are the pieces that we just got done cutting on the saw. Now, 
this is actually cut in the shape of a U. Now, if you just want to do an L shaped instead of this part right here, you can go ahead and do that. I've done that before too. Depending on what kind of material you got, um, it, it doesn't really matter. It, it'll cover it good with just that. Now, this. I didn't show you ripping this on the saw. This is just regular siding. This one I'm going to use for the uh, sill. This thing was actually like beveled itself. You just find what you can get on that stuff. And uh, I'm just cutting this thing to length. I'm going to put this piece down first. These are ordinary um, tin snips. Cuts this material real easy. That's just right here. I'm going to use uh, construction adhesive. Now, I suppose you could go ahead and use, uh, you know, nails. Uh, we have used nails. Um, but make sure if you use nails to use aluminum, or better yet, what I like better is. Uh, stainless steel nails because you know that you got the rust factor and you know that that's gonna be a problem as you can see I'm just using glue on this put this right down in here that's gonna cover the sill real nice yeah if you're gonna use nails I use these, these are uh, painted, these are stainless steel. These are real good nails. These will never rust on you. But depending on what you do though, I could use just the, uh, just the uh, glue works good too. And this one I already cut, just like that some glue on here and once again you could use uh, nails on this thing too if you're using this glue be careful some of this type of glue will actually melt plastic uh, all the siding is actually PVC material and so I don't think most solvents so most glues won't really actually hurt it, but you want to go ahead and test that to make sure ahead of time. You don't want to end up with deformed uh, siding. Okay. right in okay now um, you can go ahead and run a bead of caulk in here is a good idea I usually do well some people don't like that idea but I do let me go show you my finished window out back and uh, this one's already completed with caulk see this one uh, I put caulk in there and everything and that's a that's a good idea all the way around and this certainly is a good weather tight uh, alternative method to uh, aluminum see we have aluminum up to here that's done by the professionals but we just need to finish off the window so this uh, plastic uh, finish material is a, is a good alternative to um, if you don't have the big uh, aluminum brake and all the knowledge with that this I found a really simple solution and I hope this saves you a lot of money and uh, all you guys and girls are certainly capable of doing this sort of thing just be very careful with that uh, table saw you know and make sure you wear your